Applying lip gloss to granny. So they can be shiny. There you go. There you go, granny. All right, guys. It is currently 1034. It is Friday, September 3rd. And I am currently documenting the day that we are about to celebrate the life of my granddaddy, the legacy of my granddaddy. So, currently at my grandparents' house. As you can see, my granny is the back. The funeral cars, well, the, what you call a procession, the procession. They are outside and we are getting ready to head to my grandmother's church, which is where the funeral will be held. And oh, my heart is beating so fast. Tell them how long to put on a dress. Oh yes, so this is my outfit. I'm gonna show y'all a little something, something we got outside, but y'all, it took forever because it's the extra small. I should've got small because no. your girl is really thick in the mood. But it really took forever. It's super tight. We about to get ready to go. I just wanted to start it off. So yeah. All right, let's go. Stepping bracelets from Granddaddy. my grandparents house now looking at pictures and I was walking down the hallway and I came through this and this is actually their contact the house phone photo I mean house phone contact photo of my grandparents I love you we're currently looking for photos like I was saying and I actually missed this one because I was po well trying to look through to see what I was posting on my page but I missed this picture it's me and my brother and it's my granddaddy oh MG. This is the yellow cabinet so bad. Look at the kitchen. The kitchen ain't even that color no more. <laughs> and then, oh, it ain't nothing in the middle right there. An no, it didn't have an island. It does? Oh, oh, me and my brother. So yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we're currently outside sitting, playing, making six times, all that good stuff. But I wanted to show y'all like a before and after. I'm put like a picture on the screen. But I'm having to put a picture on the screen. So y'all can see how time changes. So this is me now. And then you see the picture on the side. And I'm on the same spot. That picture was taken. Here, Leah, get the camera and scoot back so we can see. Are you editing your videos on there? And then add picture on the screen. Her! Say hello. 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 We love you, Granddaddy. You are our hero. Period. My period, great. Period. Woo! Hello, guys. Because, <laughs> again, this is probably my second video. I don't know. This isn't like a, a video where I'm myself, really. And this is probably my first time ever really getting on camera and being vulnerable. I'm in my new place. It sounds empty because literally, I literally just moved and boxes is everywhere. So that's probably why it's an echo. And I don't have no furniture because with COVID and everything, furniture and everything, everything I order, all my furniture won't be delivered till probably about <laughs> November, December. This video is pretty much just, I don't know, just a video, just opening up and just sitting down and being, I guess, vulnerable with you guys because I've never really done that because it's not like the type of person I am. I don't really get on camera and I don't really cry <laughs> on camera and none of that. But as all of you know, if you follow me on Instagram or follow Ken on Instagram or follow anybody that's close to me or my family members on Instagram, then you will know that my grandfather, I wouldn't say recently because it's been a couple of weeks now that my grandfather passed. And if you watched me and Ken, then you will know that my, grand my granddad was a big, huge, Part of my life so when it happened it was just i don't know it was it wasn't real and even after the funeral because this is probably a few days after the funeral it still doesn't feel real i've kind of been numb for the past couple of weeks since it happened i've just been numb i just sometimes i would zone out and don't really think about or i'm not really there 
kind of just zone out. But yeah, so today is actually September 9th and my granddad passed away August 21st. And if you follow me on Instagram again, then you will know that August 20th is when I actually announced that I was starting my own channel and me and Keen actually released our video that we weren't gonna be, you know. So the day after was actually the day that my granddad passed and I got the news. This video is pretty much gonna be dedicated to my granddad. I'm gonna insert clips from when I was back at home on the day of his funeral with my family and everything and clips, old clips from when he was in videos with me and Ken and just a slideshow of pictures and stuff that my cousin actually made for him that we played at his funeral. Life really has a way of just being one thing and then the next is just completely different in like a blink of an eye. I don't know, with my granddad's passing, I really realized a lot and I really thought about a lot. So here is a photo. Well, this is a picture of my granddad's obituary. So you've probably seen this art on my Instagram, but that's the picture of it. And my granddaddy was born June 12th, 1936. So dang, my granddaddy was born a long time ago. And if you also follow me on Instagram, then you will know we recently was just down in Memphis because we celebrated my granddaddy's 85th birthday on June 12th, 2021, which is this year and here it says our hero forever because that's what he was everybody hero in here all the grandkids and stuff wrote little notes to him and i wanted to pin a note to him which i wrote on instagram i also wrote inside his obituary and it was just pretty much saying summing up pretty much the, since the day that i took my first breath it just don't feel real because i'm 25 now so my granddaddy has literally been in my life since I took my first breath since the day I was born and when you think about it, 25 years is a long time to have somebody in your life and then for them to just be gone just like that. Like my granddaddy was literally like my dad, like I would call my granddaddy, granddaddy or granny daddy or I would call him daddy and I think the hard part about it all is like my family haven't really dealt with a death or a major death in our family besides my uncle who passed away a couple of years ago and also if you don't know yes my granddad is my mom's dad so my mom lost her dad as well it was just hard and my granddad will always call me every day we will always talk and when i visit i will always go over there first thing go to my grandparents house and visit my grandparents and if you've seen my granddaddy videos my granddad it was just the light like when you be around him, he's just a joke. He will always make jokes. He will always be smiling and always laughing. I don't think I've ever, ever seen my granddaddy down, ever. This whole loss is just, it's just big. It's, it's a huge loss and it really hurts. Like I made a tweet on Twitter. I said a grandparent's love, a grandfather's love is like no other and no one's love on this earth could ever compare. And I mean that, like nobody's love on this earth could ever compare to my grandparents and my grandfather's love. And it's crazy because a couple of years ago, I don't even know when, but I tweeted like if I ever lost my grandparents, I would go off the deep end. And you really don't know what you would do when a situation like that happens. So since then, I've just been numb. Like I just, it, I just, even though we already buried my granddad and everything, it does not seem real. Like it don't feel real and I cannot wrap my head around it. I would never hear his voice again or I would never hug him again or during holidays, he would never show up in his meat coats. It's just a numb, I don't feel it. So sometimes I have my moments where I sit and I think, and it pops in my head and then I cry. I have my granddaddy's jury box. They say J. Tay, James Taylor. So this is his jury box with his watch and his necklaces in. So it's literally his cross necklaces. This is his pocket watch. I have that, I have his watches he always wore. And I'm keeping it safe in my closet so that we will always have it. This is one of the necklaces that he always wore. Like he literally always wore this necklace and this necklace. Actually, he had this on actually in a picture that I posted on my Instagram when I had on the green skirt. So I'm gonna insert all these pictures and do all that. But yeah, this is the necklace he always wore. This video is just pretty much to show you guys how loving and how my granddaddy was living the best granddaddy anybody can ever ask for. And you guys see clips, you guys see pictures, and just from what I'm telling you guys and what I'm saying and how highly I speak of my granddad, like he literally was the best granddad anybody could ever ask for. He even taught me how to drive 
And I'm gonna tell y'all this funny story. When I was in Memphis one time, and my granddaddy was teaching me how to drive, because y'all know I literally was like so afraid to drive. But my granddaddy was teaching me how to drive one time when I was back at home one time. And I pulled up, we drove, and we went to go get food from Jack Purtles. So if you're from Memphis, then you know what Jack Purtles is. So we were in the parking lot, and my granddaddy was like, okay, reverse, whatever. Well, he was telling, trying to tell me to reverse because we were backing up and we was leaving. But my foot was on the gas as I was trying to reverse. So I wasn't like reversing slow, I was reversing fast. I mean, my foot was like on the pedal, like the gas pedal. And he was like, break, break, did he break? And like, granted, I am breaking. And as I'm breaking, I'm, I'm <laughs> as I'm breaking, saying I'm breaking, I'm actually punching the gas. So I'm literally gassing, all gas. And we literally ram it into this truck in the back. And it was like, of course, my granddaddy, he does taxes. Like we had his tax business. So he does people's taxes in Memphis. So pretty much everybody knows my granddad. So the guy in the truck, who car it was, who truck it was that I was ramming into, he knew my granddaddy. He was like, oh, my car is fine, but it's your car that got a dip. So the guy's car was completely fine. The truck was fine, it had no dip. So my granddaddy, the back of the car, like the bumper or whatever, had a dip. My granddad's like, oh, it's fine. We just pop it out. I just pop it out. So I always remember that. But this video will be 10 hours if I go down all the memories that I have of my granddaddy. But I want to end it by saying I now know that I have an angel. I've gained an angel and I know everywhere I go or even when I sleep or even when I feel down or even when I think about like life and just thinking like how hard not wanting to continue. I know that's not what my granddaddy will want. And I know he will always want me to keep on pressing, pressing on because it's a song that he will always play when he would take me and my cousins on road trips, like keep on pressing on. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I know that my granddad love money. <laughs> now you gotta open it. <laughs> you gotta open it. You gotta open it. <laughs> Look at that. It's money. There you go, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna make even bigger bags for my granddaddy because he was all about his money. He always loved money. So I'm gonna do that. And I just want to say like my granddaddy, granddaddy, you're the best granddaddy in the world and you still are and you'll forever be. And you'll forever be in my heart and you will live on through us and all the memories who will always keep them alive. You know, just keep your memory alive. Yeah, so I love you granddaddy from your DD. <laughs> it's so funny because my granny did ask you, so are you going to make a video for your granddaddy? And so I was like, yeah granny, I am. So granny, if you're watching this, hey granny. I love you. You probably had somebody pull it up for you because you always ask somebody to pull up the videos. I love you, Granny, and I love you, Granny. Whatever. I'm always. We will insert the clips.
Y-D-D. Love you. Give me a call. Have a blessed one.